Good afternoon, Jack. Good afternoon, Jacob. Good afternoon, Cougars. Today was Wednesday, and the rest late start at 9.15. And tomorrow's Thursday, and there's a third grade popcorn party. Yeah, and there's no school Friday, so it'll be another three-day weekend. I'm really excited for that, actually. Me too. Yeah. I slept most of the weekend, so I'm planning to do that again. So. That, that, that's great. I, I like the we- I like sleeping in. Yeah, me too. Anyways, tomorrow, uh, Brea turns 100 years old, mm-hmm. so and that's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, we have another fact for you. And so Brea's oil boom lasts until the late 1940s. So as the uh, as the oil uh, industry declined, the uh, the housing industry grew, and so more people started to live normal lives there, mm-hmm. and that's how we have it today. And then it started to grow uh, exponentially in the uh, when the 57 was built in the 70s. Mm-hmm. And it used to be mostly for oil pumping and like business purposes, but then people just started living here as a nice little city. So that's how Brea became the no- the town that we all love. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. here is Kevin with the safety tip. Hello, Cougars. My safety tip of the week is about how to stay safe in the city. So, first of all, crime rates in L.A. have decreased 60% in the last 50 years, which is great. And also, um, my first tip is to stay where other people are, because if you are with other people, then criminals are less likely to strike. And also, if they do strike then um, the other people can call 911 or chase them down or something. And also stay in a group of people that you know. In case one of you gets lost, then you can call them or call their parents. And also always stay aware of your surroundings because one slight mistake, if you don't know what's going on, you can end up in somewhere where you really don't want to be. Anyways, here is... Brianna, Cameron, and Paige with the Charity of the Month. Thank you so much for participating in Jump Over Heart. We hope you had fun jumping with your friends. I hope you guys are very proud of yourselves because we have received so many donations for a wonderful cause. We are still patsing out and giving the dog lanyards to your classes, so you still may have a chance to get one. Here's Alyssa with the girls' sports. Softball signups are still open, so make sure you're signing up because it's going to be a good season. Here's Isaiah with the boys' sports. Volleyball practices will be starting next week for all the boys volleyball teams and track signups will be coming soon so make sure to sign up for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Here's Caitlin with prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O Lord God, you restore us in Angela's sight when she was blind. Help us to see your love among us and never be blind to our faith. As St. Angela devoted her life to care for the disabled, grant us compassion and help those in need and the dedication of a faithful life as she did. As St. Angela taught young girls to our new education, may we always value our teachers. Bring us closer to you, O Lord God, and lead us on your journey to heaven the kingdom. St. Angela and Marici, pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Here are Jack and Jacob. Have an awesome rest of your day, Cougars. And if you want to celebrate your city, now's the time. So I'm taking my time on my ride.